Dakujinzo Okay, good evening again. Is that better, Geshe-la? All Good. <laughs> I think your computer is old. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's okay. How are you cold? No. I'm you sitting in, cold. I'm sitting in the warmest room of the house. Oh, that's good. You sitting next to that, you are. Uh, Me, I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, you, you, I can see you look like cold. <laughs> Do you have the heat? For me, yeah, I have heat, uh, but I, it's my nature. I always get cold, but I like hot weather. So cold weather, I, I suffer a little bit, but it's okay. No problem. Good. Margo, you cold? <laughs> a little bit is okay. Anyway, it's wonderful. I think Lula, we almost finished the text, right? Now today I'm not going to text. I'm just close text. Okay, not talking about text. Otherwise, if you don't get any idea sometimes if I go to text to text. <laughs> Try to, you know, like combined but practice to something idea. When you like uh, maybe two weeks, three weeks, maybe one year later, you say, okay, I'll study ground apart, but there's uh, so many different numbers. You know, so many also them parts. Okay, which one, which one? I can, I forgot everything. We don't want like that. I think tonight we're going to a little bit uh, Try to a little bit more clear. If you have some also caution, making more clear. The next, I think two weeks, we have still more two weeks. And they have time, I have also a little bit explain to when we reset the you know, teaching, teaching prayer, right? Like I'm not talking about like word by word, but like basics, what to think that time. Um, I would like to. Some sound? It's my sound? It's from me? Really? I hear also something. You hear still you hear it here? There's some you know, some phone sound. Tick 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 tick. Therefore I'm not like like commentary for you know like that, but I just you know think refuge, Buddhichida, for my boss. Then like that entrails are sutra. Just look something to when you pray, something to think that. Next two weeks we will talk that, okay? It's a good idea or bad idea? Yes, let me ask a question. So then are we are we finished with the, with the text at this now? Uh, I think not text, I think like that, you know, still have more talk the talk, but nothing. I think it looks more confused. We already gone for the like more important things. Any left there? There have some, you know, debates, but you know, debates makes we already confused, we make more confused. If you study very deep, you know, debates very good, makes more clear. But we have not much. Deep, then you come to deep, then you doesn't find anything, just completely you lost. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. How did last week, you know, we have some complicated things. Do you guys go back to read? Then now you understand? 
It's a little bit or still more confused. How about Deborah? Well, I could never begin to memorize it. It's it's so many. If for this person does it this way, and this one, this person does it that way, and so there's so many different um, okay. alterations. Yeah. Okay. Therefore, to, today I'm just trying to like a little combined to you know make it a little bit easy for you guys to understand. Okay. I'm going to talk that way. Hello, Tom Chitrin Zoh. Chuk Hane Chitrin Zoh. Another day, did you mean? Alleh. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm going to talk to you about it. That's why I'm going to talk to you about it. चांद ने पैना लोची की जलाया था सालम ना दो तो उन्हें रेशे के ओरे समझे भी कोई ना तो तेरे रास्तो तो एक थप्पी चली था जब तक तेम ना रोमे तब तेम ना रो ना तब गांव तो मांचे ना रो सब रे अने तब ते ओल में कच्ची दिन लाश है तो तो लम्बा ने यहाँ गोबी लो दो तब ते माय बात ची दो दो रो बच <clears throat> so, so like I said, you know, I'm just going to <clears throat> uh, go uh, over everything, you know, about the grounds and paths and you know, <clears throat> a gist of it. Um, so, like <clears throat> here from now, if someone said, "What well, did you did you study in the past paths and grounds?" You can say yes. And then if someone would ask you, "What is path and ground?" Then you can say yes. This is path and ground. So something, you know, something that you can show to, to say. Uh, anyway, we have already covered. You know most of it, um, or all of it, and just left some, um, you know, someone else's system or someone else's opinion about parts and graphs. And those are more confusing. This is just about uh, um, for the sake of debate, you know, only. Uh, so <clears throat> it's not that important. Um, I mean, it helps you know to increase more ideas or um, you know, um, you know wisdoms you know, with that, but that's not really necessary. So we're just going to you know, go through the whole. Overview, you know, of the paths and ground. Okay. Ta kana na ani salam se de kana kaje ani sanje sanje la ani chu beche taya ki ani chu ta susu namchok sharab jil la salam se de. So, what is the path and ground in general? Right, the path and ground, you know, is the you know path and ground is the knower. I right? say so it's a consciousness, it's a mind. Um, that is uh, used, you know, to uh, reach you know, the state of liberation or full enlightenment. And then, um, what are the obstacles, you know, uh, that come on that path, you know, uh, that obstruct us from achieving liberation or full enlightenment? You know, are the six root delusions. And if you know what are the six root delusions, then that's good enough to know all about the obstacles that obstruct us from achieving liberation or enlightenment. Okay, that thing is that So you understand those two, right? <laughs> oh yeah. That thing, two chi ma that pena. Ani two chi that ni yong de vela pena. That ngato that det tombo din that. Salam sade kare sanjaya la pache taya ki ene sozo ko knowledge de la chi. Sanjaya la pache karna o ta tabe nyu mo tru de pache te me waso te me waso la cha de res te ko so mas. And so like you know what is the path and ground the path and ground you know is the the intelligence or the wisdom you know that in our in our mind that is used you know to achieve liberation or full enlightenment and uh, what you know are the obstacles and that obstruct us from achieving Enlightenment or liberation, and are the six root delusions, and you can use those paths and grounds, the wisdom, uh, the intelligence, you know, uh, to overcome these path, these you know, obstacles. What a tiny page of a yana penang and zugo semch, no moch, mother semse chigja, and no moch. Any tine any no motor may also have a same knowledge, it is some chance of some shadow. So you can maybe <clears throat> use the example like, uh, um, like say there is a mind, and then there is the the delusion, you know, 
the six root delusions or gen delusions in general, and uh, the wisdom mind, you know, to overcome these delusions. Ah, the pet, pet, who's in the pet, turning in the shamode, the shamode, the shamode, the edge, the gala trapaji, the trapa trail, he took some gold was. So, example like this hat of mine, right? The hat itself and the stain on the hat and, and a soap uh, to wash away those stains. So the, 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 the hat and the stain on the hat are separate, right? Are two different things, right? <laughs> so just like that, our mind, our, our mind, our consciousness, and uh, the delusions are separate. And so delusions are the stain uh, <clears throat> that, you know, um, uh, that pollutes our mind. Okay. So what are the stains in the mind? You know, those are the delusions, right? And then there you can say those are the six root delusions in short. <clears throat> and then you need the soap, you know, to wash away that stain from the hat, right? Just like that, you, you know, so what is the, uh, the soap, you know, to wash away those you know, stains you know, of the mind, you know, is the path, you know, the five paths. So you understand that? Now you understand the, the meaning, you know, uh, referred, you know, with the examples? And so now the five paths, right? The five paths, you know, uh, the first one you know, is the path of accumulation, right? So what is path of accumulation? So path of accumulation is same as the renunciation. So the moment you generate renunciation, you have entered into the path of accumulation. And what is renunciation? You know, it's a wish, you know, uh, <clears throat> a genuine wish wanting to achieve uh, liberation throughout the end night. Okay, then you thought that is all. Ninju da, Solom Nita Kodichibaro Kondi, so, so when you uh, have generated renunciation, then you know the moment you generate renunciation, you have already, already entered into the path. So the first path that you enter into is the path of accumulation. So, in in that sense, you can say renunciation and uh, path of accumulation are almost you know, like equal. Okay, they are going to do north Marwa. You understand that, right? You will you won't make any mistake on that. Okay. And that kind of renunciation, if it is conjoined with the bodhicitta, then it will be Mahayana path of accumulation. ガザガダメ、山で電波待ち合わせてあれんで、ネジ um, then the part of the part of preparation, right? The part of it's called part of preparation, where you prepare you know, yourself to achieve or to um, uh, to uh, see the truth directly. So before that, you know, so like to realize emptiness directly. Um, and before that, of course, you know, uh, you have some realization of emptiness, uh, selflessness, or emptiness. Uh, but it's you know, it's like. Uh, not a direct realization, you know, it's just, you just have like kind of idea, oh, emptiness, you know, it's like that, or selflessness must be like that, you know, so you just have some some uh, idea about it, but you haven't realized it directly. 
and uh, and then uh, now after the path of preparation comes the path of seeing. Right? So what is the path of seeing? It's called path of seeing because you see the truth, or you see, you know, you realize the emptiness directly, and you see the truth. That's why it's called path of seeing. And during the path of seeing, when you overcome uh, the intellectual, you know, or, or, or occurred delusions. Um, so those are like the like a uh, like an obvious you know or uh, or a gross you know, stain on the cloth if you have like a big piece of mud it will be easy to wash right easy to get off you know off your cloth uh, but then uh, the the very fine or like subtle stains you know, takes time so so during the part of seeing you overcome those gross or intellectual delusions and the chickpan de wonder, Thomas or Deandro, so they didn't take so I shall have done to him like this. And so those are the, the, the intellectual or uh, or occurred acquired um, uh, delusions, right? So what do you mean by occurred delusion? And so the delusion, those are like, you can say, easier to abandon. Watch it, and it is it, I want to know the co and the Nando Tabai or Tabai in Bala Tabak, Catal, it's a missy, it's a missy that a man called two mother than a tig or so. So, uh, in order to you know, get rid of all those uh, subtle stains, you need a particular you know, uh, kind of uh, chemical or soap you know, to get rid of that. You know? So, not, not just general soap can get rid of it, you need a special, uh, particular, uh, specified you know, soap. Or chemical in order to remove it. So that's like the part of uh, meditation. What are the unintended any ta Golom said the Tita, no more chamo the Kadi, Pa, Mevasodana, any go Sanchez or Maris, Sama Kadi Chasan, Mevach Sanchez or Maris. So with that uh, chemical, like uh, the part of meditation, when you have uh, overcome all that subtle delusions or subtle obscurations, then you become uh, fully enlightened. Okay. This is that a little bit easier to understand? That's human And so you have to understand, right? That you know what is part of seeing and part of meditation. The part of seeing and part of meditation are the part that actually uh, eliminates the delusions. So during the path of seeing, you eliminate the gross delusions, and during the path of meditation, you eliminate you know, uh, every uh, subtle delusions. Okay. Then you move the card and you move the or you move the to the touch and the cover. Then you do the cover. So what are the delusions that are to, that are to be removed or that are to be eliminated? And there are, those are the six straight delusions. Okay. That they told us you have to so that's like the, 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 the in short, you understand now, right? In brief, that's like the brief okay. explanation. And then you know, said that they papa a tap sheet in the copa chocho curry, the carrot, come on and the joking and watch carota. Chick Nigaga left them on the Jonum. And then Tonum said it, and Ninju Kadicha on the Tonum said the cope to the Rochasa. And the part of preparation is preparing, you know, to. Over to actually fight, you know, with the delusions to overcome them, right? So that's the part of preparation, in, in preparing you know, uh, to overcome the delusions, and then part of you know, accumulation you know, is when you uh, when I first generate the renunciation. Okay. So that's all about uh, the paths and grounds. Everything about the paths and grounds that. So I'm just like kind of sort of make sort of trying to make it uh, easier for you to understand. 
So what are the delusions you know, that to, that's to be abandoned uh, or obscuration that are to be abandoned and you know, that are the, the six root delusions and uh, what is the, uh, the the chemical or the soap like you know that uh, washes away all the uh, delusions and you know, all the stains you know of the delusion or the part of seeing and part of meditation so try to forget that and to try to not forget that and remember that right? try to not forget that and remember it you know remember that you know if you have to take a note take a note and then when you go to sleep you know think about that yeah? so that it stays in your mind. Otherwise, you know, after a couple of months or a year, uh, then you forget everything. You know, then there will be nothing left in your mind. So try to remember it. Okay. Yeah, Devra. Um, so on the hearer path of meditation, do they only remove obstacles to liberation and no obstacles to omniscience? So. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah, so you know that's called the deluded obstruction and the obstruction to knowledge. So in the hearer's part, they only abandon the deluded obstruction. So deluded obstruction is the obstruction that obstructs one from achieving liberation. And then obstructions of knowledge you know, are the obstructions that obstruct one from achieving full enlightenment or Buddhahood. Okay. Okay. So now you, you, you sort of know what you know, uh, the path and ground is in brief, right? In short. Okay, Jennifer, can you explain? Try to short. No, this is okay. You know, we missed it. You know, we just for us here, nothing to worry. Because if we like discussion, then you guys also maybe better than I explain. Because she did also use maybe different language. Then I will. I like to do everyone just a little bit to explain. Okay, much as you can. You don't have to be perfect. First Jennifer, then Bob, then Devra, then I don't know who can appoint. Okay. Okay, so the paths and grounds uh, are the, the wisdom that um, is used to achieve enlightenment. And the obstacles to enlightenment are the six root delusions. And so the, the six root delusions are the stains and the, and the, the five paths are the, the detergent that overcomes them. And so the first of the five paths is the path of accumulation and that is attained upon um, renunciation. And then the path of seeing is where you prepare to see the truth. And then, oh, sorry, the path of preparation is where you prepare to see the truth. And then the path of seeing is where you actually have the direct realization of the truth or emptiness. And that overcomes the acquired um, delusions. And then on the path of meditation, it overcomes the um, innate um, delusions or the innate obstructions. And um, I think that's everything. But uh, what example? Example? Of, uh, an example of what? <laughs> like, uh, like, so like, so like, so like, so like, so like, uh, Geshe-la's hat is is like is like the mind. The stain on the hat is like the delusion. You know, it's it's not. It can be removed. The stain can be removed. And so, okay, this little exit. Okay, Bob, can you explain? Because also big difference, you know. I, because I want to you, you say because you don't say you think you know, but you come to say then you don't you mistakes. They were trying to say it's more also more clear. Okay. Okay. Everyone, less than you. 
So the, the paths are minds that take you to liberation and enlightenment. So the first path is the path of accumulation, which you achieve when you have renunciation, which is when you have the wish to be free of samsara throughout day and night. And uh, if you have that conjoined with bodhicitta, then it's the Mahayana path of accumulation. Otherwise, it could be the theorist path of accumulation or the, um, or the solitary realizer's path of accumulation. And then when you, uh, when you get a direct, when you get an understanding of emptiness in the manner of a meaning generality, you enter the path of preparation. And during the path of preparation, you're preparing to realize emptiness directly. And when you realize emptiness directly, you enter the path of seeing. So when, and that's when you can see emptiness with direct perception. And let's see. And you can you continue removing obstructions, and that's when you, you begin to re completely remove the deluded obstructions. Some of the deluded obstructions are removed on the path of seeing, and then uh, I think a few, a few more are removed in the path of meditation. And if you're on the Mahayana path, you also remove all the obstructions to knowledge as well on the path of meditation. And if you're on the hearer's path or the solitary realizer's path, you remove all the deluded obstructions to become an arahant. What are the delusions? What are the delusions? Are the six root delusions? Okay, good, good, good. It's good. Okay, Deborah. So we all are wearing dirty hats, and when you want to have a clean hat, <laughs> then you have entered the hero path. That's you want to have renunciation for yourself, and if you want to have everyone to have a clean hat then you have renunciate, want everyone to have renunciation or bodhicitta. So we realize that the paths we've been following haven't given, helped us get a clean hat. So we have to follow the right path and the right ground. So the, the goal is to um, realize either selflessness or emptiness, which that's the detergent that cleans our hats. And so we um, do these practices. And if we're on the right path, we do the right practices that help us um, so we've entered the path of accumulation by developing um, uncontrived renunciation or uncontrived bodhicitta. <clears throat> and then when we have an idea about um, selfness or emptiness, um, the kind of detergent we want, then we've entered the path of preparation. And when we actually get that detergent, we start washing away the stains, then we've entered the path of seeing. And so after the path of seeing, we have to just keep... Um, trying to see this uh, selflessness or emptiness over and over again. And that removes more and more of the stains until that's the path of meditation until we reach either the end of the path for a hearer or solitary realizer for oneself or um, uh, Buddhahood for, could you do that for everybody? Okay. That's it. Finish. Finish. Yeah. Good. Is it all different, different experiences? It's not the same, everyone, right? Okay, who the next? Okay, Howard. Yep. Just unmuting myself. Thank you. <laughs> so there's so there's the three vehicles. There's the hearers, there's the hearers, solitary realizers, and Mahayana. And so these are the, you know, the three scopes matches up. And then you have the um, the paths and grounds is like the process upon which to um, attain liberation. So the first part, so the paths and grounds is like the, is, is the process of purification. So if you're, you know, the, the hearers is, you know, the, the hearers, solitary realizers is basically just for yourself. Um, Mahayana is for uh, all, all, all beings. Um, the path of uh, accumulation, you enter that path by um, renunciation. So where you, you just wanna break free from cyclic existence and achieve uh, liberation. 
And um, the way to do that is to get, you know, to get rid of the six root delusions, attachment, aversion, pride, doubt, ignorance, afflicted view. And um, path of accumulation is where you go through renunciation. The path of preparation is basically where you're preparing to see uh, emptiness directly. And then the um, path of seeing, um, there's three parts to that, but that's where you're, you get rid of the gross afflicted delusions because you're seeing emptiness directly. It's not a contrived uh, uh, understanding or an intellectual understanding of empties, emptiness. You just see it directly. And then the path of um, meditation is where you're getting rid of the subtle, um, more more and more subtle uh, root delusions. And then the last one is path no more learning. Okay, that's good. Okay, who's next? Margaret? Are you ready? <laughs> I'll try. No, let's try. Yeah, it's um, fun, yeah. Okay. So grounds and path. Um, a path is, I, I would differ from Howard a little bit, it's not a process, it's not a method, it's actually a clear realization of um, an exalted wisdom. Um, and correct, that's three vehicles and it coincides with hearers, solitary realizes and Mahayana path. Um, so in the first two, it would be realization um, of realization. <laughs> I don't know where, <laughs> just realization. The difference is that Mahayana path is realization conjoined with bodhicitta. Um, there's, for each vehicle, there's five paths. So the Mahayana, uh, the, it all starts with the path of accumulation, which is when we, um, uh, when we fully realize um, liber the, the wish to, to have achieve liberation day and night um, from samsara. And um, then the next path is the path of what, what preparation. What do you call the name? What do you call the name? Path of the name of what? Uh, the day or <laughs> night for freedom from samsara. Day, day liberation. What do you right? call the uh, name? Renunciation. 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 Yes. Renunciation um, is when you want to be liberated from samsara night with that strong desire, strong wish. Then um, as we move on to the path of preparation, it is um, preparing. Yeah, you're on the, so in the path of accumulation, it's called accumulation because you're accumulating merits. We need to accumulate merits in order to move on to the next path. Um, in the path of preparation, we are um, closer to seeing uh, realizing emptiness, but it's not direct realization, it's realization from, um, con from, from, from a kind of knowledge we have. Like we, we think, yeah, this is what realized emptiness is and we practice that. So that's the preparation stage. When we move to the path of seeing, that's when we um, have realized emptiness, direct, have a direct realization of emptiness. Not sure if that's correct, but maybe it's closer to that. Um, and it's also the stage where we, uh, the gross, uh, gross, gross um, obscuration is being purified, that we lose that. Um, and that has three stages too. That's the great oscillation, the middle and the small. We finish that and we move on to the path of meditation where then we start to work on the more subtle obscurations. Um, and then that's also three 
stages of great, middle, small, until we reach the path of no learning. Um, the examples of obscurations is like the dirt on our, <laughs> that can, the big dirt that's easy to wash off in the first round. And then as you, you know, wash the head with, you know, less and the, the, the more subtle uh, obscurations are really called subtle because that's more innate, it's in, in, in our mind, it's harder to, to, to get rid of. I think so. Good, 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 yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. now, John, Karen, Marco, who's first? You can read, okay, John. Unmute. Yeah. Okay, I'm new to this. So, no, you don't have to be nervous. Okay, just no problem. Okay, so Margaret helped me a little. Some everyone's actually. Oh, it's me. good. Also, Mark there. Mark, you will not hide there. Okay, uh, I can see Mark. Oh, Mark. Okay, yeah, but I ahead. could hide. <laughs> hey, you cannot hide. Okay. Oh. Okay. okay yeah. Go ahead. Uh, the state we want to reach the state of liberation. Um, to overcome our um, obstacles. And um, the six root delusions, I still have a hard time remembering all those, but we start accumulating merit through our meditation, our wish uh, to overcome. And then uh, we move to um, a more stronger desire. So we start preparing um, via our um, gross awareness of wanting to be free. And we start moving into a uh, realization a little bit of our gross, grosser body and emptiness. Um, and through deep meditation, um, we start washing away the stains of more of the subtle obscurations and until we can reach um, real renunciation and, and start realizing really what bodhicitta is and emptiness that leads us to a path of liberation. I don't know. I mean, I'm reading a lot of this that I took it notes. Do I totally understand it yet? No. Um, but I like, um, who was it? I think it was Howard. You just rattled off the six root delusions and um, I'm still trying to process those. It's okay. So you can you can learn six in six religion. You can even you go to Google. The Google told you okay what okay. six religion. They were just number. Wow. I, I want to you know you guys like you know what level what forty five like that you know something. The number is no problem. Numbers don't worry. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Are you done? Yeah. I probably missed a lot. <laughs> Are you done? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Now maybe Karen, can you try? Yes, I will try. I heard you say on Sunday that when we reach the age of 70, our mind slows down a little bit. So I'm 69 this week. I'm 70 next week. Let's give it a go. Wow. Congratulations for you. Um, and happy birthday, Deborah. I, I probably missed your birthday. Oh, when's his birthday? Today? Well, I Not know that we're in the What is it? Oh. February, in the February. Okay. Oh, January, February. Okay, okay, now go oh, ahead. I yeah. saw a while. <laughs> so, um, these grounds and paths are um, meaningful as a way to understand how to become enlightened. And, um, the older I get, the more I want to get rid of all of my pains and aches and all my suffering. And I see so much suffering throughout all my years um, happening around me. And I want to get rid of that. And as that grows, um, as it grows for all of us, we will reach renunciation. And therefore, we will enter the path of accumulation. When we enter, if we want enlightenment for, for ourselves, it will not be the Mahayana path. But if we do, 
want it for others, we will be in the Mayana path. As someone said, we'll be accumulating merit along the way, and that will increase once we get into the path of accumulation. At the path of preparation, we'll enter that when we have, as um, Bob said, the um, uh, not the direct realization of emptiness, but the meaning generality of emptiness. And that will be in preparation for the path of seeing, which we will enter when we have a direct realization. We will work on um, ridding ourselves of the six root delusions, the, um, the gross ones and the path of seeing, uh, the deluded obstructions. And as we get rid of those, I'm not sure where the, the, the point is where we go into the path of meditation, um, but we'll be getting rid of the more innate obstructions. And then once all of those are gone, we'll be in the path of no more learning. And we will truly be able to help others. Good. Good, good. Okay. Michael? Mark, get ready, okay? <laughs> I'm scared already. <laughs> Don't be scared. I'm more Don't scared. Be scared. Than you. You I'm alive. <laughs> Okay. I'm just repeating what other people have said so far, pretty much. Yeah, even this is good. Even you can know how to repeat that, then you can think that, okay? So, so the uh, grounds and paths is um is a way for us to to remove our delusions, and there's six of them, and six delusion. But I'm trying to remember too. Is it ignorance, pride, attachment, aversion? Wrong view is one of them. I don't know what's the six. Anyone can help? Uh, doubt, doubt. It's attachment, attachment, aversion, pride, doubt, ignorance, afflicted doubt. view. Oh, doubt is the one that makes um, So the first path is accumulations. And to, to the first thing you have to do for accumulation is you have to have renunciation and that Keshla said it was like, when you enter one of them, you're simultaneously doing it. And that's, to me, that's sort of like the six paramita come into play. Is that right? Um, I mean, um, so, okay, cool. I'm going to the six paramita. Ah. I'm not talking about that. You don't have to oh, go okay. there. So, and then renunciation, uh, Dham Cho say was conjoined with Bodhicitta will be the Mahayana path. And second, the second path is to preparation, the path of preparation, preparing to see the truth. And third path is the path of seeing, um, seeing the truth to, uh, to overcome the intellectual of the acquired delusions. Um, so something that's easier to abandon than the, the subtle delusions where, which will be in the fourth path of meditation, you would try to do the, eliminate the innate delusions, the more subtle ones. And, and then there will be no more learning. So. Okay, okay. looks good. Okay, Mr. Mark. Okay, here it goes. So um, the past there, and it happens across different rebirths. So it's um, the different stages of mind stream has to go through, say through multiple lives to get enlightenment. And it's a very specific, you can't skip one. You have to go through each one in sequence. The path of accumulation after you have to have First of all, you have to renounce attachments to samsara. That's the really the beginning of the the uh, whole thing. And you have, you know, with refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha. 
and then you where well, you enter the path of accumulation and that's essentially accumulating merit and um the way i look at it is you know you could say cleaning i look at it as each stage requires different weapons to to vanquish different obstacles or enemies um so after you accumulate wisdom you enter the path of accumulation i uh, uh, application rather at application you only have a conceptual understanding of emptiness of self and emptiness of phenomena and um then through the path of seeing is when you develop a direct realization of emptiness for the first time that's why they call it the path of seeing you um see suchness or you see reality as it truly is you know without the the maya and without um projecting onto self and phenomena as having inherent existence then the path of meditation begins and that's where it's the accumulation of bodhicitta but also method and, and wisdom and so in the path of meditation you go through the 10 stages the bhumi so not only are you getting rid of the root delusions and the other root delusions you're still accumulating merit or you're still creating perfections and so it's the removal of obstacles but to go to full omniscience but also the perfections and so through the you, the the 10 stages the first six they correlate to the the, the six perfections or 10 to the 10 perfections and at that stage you develop method and wisdom you've gotten rid of you know some of the the you still have traces of um you know subtle stains um until you know you get to like what a ninth bodhisattva of a level where at that point you're almost at the level of a, of, of a buddha and you're all you know from that stage you go into full omniscient and the perfection of all good qualities the difference is there's an overlap between um you know uh, uh hiniana who is looking for enlightenment for the self whereas the mayahana they developed the bodhicitta to with the intention to help others in the beginning stages it's pretty much the same um but as you progress particularly in the path of meditation the bodhicitta takes you to a much higher level that's my basic understanding <laughs> good 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 i think you're all pretty good also do you see the you, each I can let you, you all of you are one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Nine people have the nine different experiences. It's not the same everyone. You see? Therefore, it shows you also nine different understand. We, we try to explain somewhere, but you all different understand. Therefore, you explain it's very good. Because you can't get love some of that. Really? Don't know that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, you guys love it. La. 나를 가실 가실 가가 라고 하는데 가는데 나파스 저도 제주나 리우라. 야. 나도 가서 또 제가 말해나. 야. That's good. I like I like to the mark use the weapon. I think each weapon kills different negatives. <laughs> That's a good idea. 맨날 돈엄 때 아니 뇨모 라파 세야기 멘달이지. 고놈 때 뇨모 타모 세야기 락차르지네. Well, yeah, you can use the example of a weapon, you know, to destroy the delusions, like uh, um, the gross delusions, the gross um, <clears throat> uh, obscurations you know, in the path of seeing, and then uh, you know, uh, the weapon to overcome or destroy the, the subtle delusions in the path of meditation. You guys are very good, pretty good, but I like to also make a different exam that you have a little bit deep understand. But 
some tipo de tipo de case de Google sana. So for example, so say you have not taken shower for two weeks. A summer time. <laughs> How much of a mind, how much of a wish will you have to take a shower? That two at the cause would tap other one, get a tap at two or two across to tap other was. So, what you have to wash away you know, is the you know, is the dirt, right? Stains or the dirt from your body. Oh, yeah. And it's super. You might the drain you to your arm at the pajet that the drain the tongue are super the cut it to your arm, some the coach shooting budget that thing, and you saw the rest, and you said there is. So if you have not taken shower, I mean taken bath or shower for two weeks, then, then maybe maybe after one week you will always be thinking about oh what can I when will I be able to take shower when will I be able to take shower right? So you your mind will always be thinking about taking shower. So that's like the renunciation, wanting to achieve liberation. <laughs> And so that's like the you know the wish you know wanting to be free from cyclic existence or and so then uh, so then uh, so then you come to the point you know, where you can get into a shower, right? So the moment you get into the shower, do you get rid of all the stains, all the dirt? No, right? So what do you do first before you apply the soap? You maybe wet your body, right? So that's like Part of accumulation. The the <laughs> so, sorry. So first, you know, you have that wish and wanting to take shower, wanting to take shower. So when you have very wish, you know, strong wish, you know, and then throughout that night, you know, you're thinking about taking shower. That's the renunciation. And so when you have that thought throughout that night, then you have entered into the path of accumulation. And so then after you know having entered into the path of accumulation, after having having that thought, then you eventually get into the shower. Uh, when you get into the shower and start to wet your body, uh, then that's like a part of preparation. You're you're preparing, you know, to get rid of that stain. You haven't got got rid of that stain yet, but you're preparing by making you know your body wet. And then after that, then you apply a soap and apply soap, you know, to get rid of that um, uh, dirt from your body. And then during the first application of the soap, you don't maybe get rid of the whole dirt, right? So, but you maybe you get rid of the gross dirt, you know, the dirt that are obvious gross dirt. And then, so that's like the part of seeing. And then you still find some stain in your body after that. And then you apply another soap again, and then you rub your body, uh, uh, do whatever to get rid of the all the stains. You know? So that's like the part of meditation. And then after that, you, you, you rinse off all that thing and then you, now you find yourself very clean. That's like fully enlightened. So that's like the, the whole thing, the whole process is to get rid of the dirt. But before that, you have to have the wish, you know, wanting to get rid of the dirt. And uh, then, you know, you have to you know, prepare yourself to get rid of the dirt. Then you have to, you know, uh, apply the, the, the soap or uh, the rubbings and so forth to get rid of it. And so all these things you have to do a lot, you know, uh, eventually to get rid of this dirt. Okay. This is easy answer. You have to tell the chip by chijanis. I can't open a ninja society. Then the pang going to go by the trauma of the tumbles and the tennis. And it teaches a Yeah, so then you, know, you, you find yourself you know, clean and you know, then you are fully like a fully enlightened or fully liberated. 
And so it's the same thing, same same process. Like so, wanting to be free from psychosis all the time, yeah, it's the renunciation. So when you have that genuine renun genuine wish, then that's like the enter into the path of accumulation. And then after that, you <clears throat> you prepare yourself, you know, to um, <clears throat> uh, realize uh, the truth or the emptiness, and that's the path of you know, uh, preparation. And then after that, you come to realize the truth or emptiness directly as a part of uh, uh, seeing. Uh, where you see, and then that time you abandon the growth or the uh, intellectual delusions. And then after that, you know, you again, you know, uh, apply more soap or more practice yeah, uh, uh, of meditating on <clears throat> uh, emptiness in conjunction with other practices. And then uh, that time you, <clears throat> you uh, enter into the uh, uh, path of you know, meditation where you you know, where you abandon you know, all the uh, uh, the innate, you know, all the subtle delusions and everything, and then then after that, you know, you, you know, become fully liberated or enlightened, and that's like part of normal learning. Okay, Devra, you raise your hand. I was gonna using your analogy of the shower. I would say that most people don't want to take a shower, and they don't know that they have the dirt, and so that's. Um, I mean, that's like the big issue because how many people want to face that? What was that again? Most you, you people did. don't realize they have the dirt and they'll think that there's a shower that if, if they recognize it, they don't think there's a shower. They think it's the problems are from someone else, not from themselves. No, no, if they have not taken shower for two weeks in a summertime and that the body feels very dirty, right? If they feel like that, then would you would, would they want to be taking shower or no? Yes, but they don't they don't understand or or have um, experience of there's the shower. It's just that the 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 dirt just keeps accumulating. I think that's for the average person. Unless you meet a path that's um, effective, you, you don't know that there's a shower. Deborah's just yeah. saying that the analogy kind of breaks down. It's not right. I mean, it's no, I don't think the analogy breaks down. I just think that most people, before they enter the path, don't even realize that there is a path, that there's a shower. I, I mean, I didn't before I met Buddhism. I just thought that, you know, what I had in my mind, my emotions were just that was it. And that was what I had. And that was, I just had to live with it. But there was no possibility of being liberated from them. I mean, no one ever told me that when I was growing up. そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そんな状態で、そん
So of course, yeah. and then after that, you know, you will have a take. You, more you don't take shower, more you will you know, want to take shower. Longer you have not taken shower, more you will want to take shower because you're getting more and more dirty. You understand that. And so when you have that, then you take a shower and then you get rid of the dirt and all this. That's just the general thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, so of course, you know, it doesn't mean that you have to have the idea about you know, Buddhism, about the path and grounds and all these things. Well, I think the analogy is very good. I just, it made me think about how many people don't have any idea about grounds and paths. No, no, that that's, really no, yeah, that's true. Mind. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Most, most of the people who claim themselves as Buddhism, as a Buddhist, don't have idea about that, unless if you have studied philosophy. Yeah, so like like people, you know, like in the lay community, the lay community who are, who just you know, follow Buddhism with the worship, with the devotion and only and have not studied you know, all these philosophy texts, have no idea about paths and grounds. You know, they, <laughs> they, they, they don't even know the term path and ground, and, um, and let alone all these like a five paths and 10 grounds and so on, no idea, no. And ground and oh no, don't ask me, ask a geisha like this, they call the leg of me like this, she not go for it. Yeah, so if you were to ask some Tibetan, you know, like, who come to Sakumimbulak at the center, and you happen to meet them at an outside, and then they, if you ask, well, what are the what are the ten grounds? They will say, oh no, no, I have no idea about that. You you better check with Geshe like that. <laughs> so, is there any yeah. chance of having of, re, of having becoming liberated or reaching enlightenment if you don't do this kind of work? I mean, is there any possibility? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. So right there, you can't, you can't. There's no way just with, without having that knowledge, without having that experience, there's no way you can liberate. You know, so there's no chance with that kind of knowledge, that much of knowledge. You know, even with our, with our understanding, there's no chance. You know, we have to actually have the realization, actually have entered into the path, and then we have a chance. So it's the same. The so that's the initial knowledge, initial level of knowledge. Then they come later. They come and say, "Oh yeah, you have to understand this." Then they have more and more understanding, and then they do more practice, and then eventually they can gain the liberation. It's the same PhD, PhD degree, So it's like same, you know. You in order to gain the PhD degree, you know, you have to go through all the study, all the level of the studies, you know. Uh, so at, at that at the first grade. Can you become enlightened? Can, can you gain PhD degree just by the knowledge of the first grade? No way, it's impossible. Even with the knowledge of the 10th grade, maybe it's not possible. And then even with the just college, the, 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 the freshman is not possible. You have to go through all that and then eventually it will be possible. Make sense? Okay. Yes, well, who's, who's caution? Many questions. Okay, yeah, Karen. Is it possible to have bodhicitta um, and not be Buddhist? No. Sit down, Jimpeg Lu, Jimpeg Lu, you told that they shall give some lagmaris. So you can, you can have uh, altruism, you can have compassion, but that will not be bodhicitta. Yeshila, I have a question. I have a worry, okay? Like, so as we study these, you know, the paths, what if we die and we're reborn in a country where there's no Buddhism or whatever? At what point can we feel secure that we're not going to fall off the path? number <laughs> Martina.
so it's difficult to say exactly, but you know, if you have studied well in this life or practiced well in this life, then that will continue, you know, to the next life, and that will help you to be born in a place where you, where there is a Buddhism, uh, in a community where there is a Buddhism, and in a play, in a in an environment where there is a Buddhism available for you to continue to study. Uh, but if you haven't studied or practiced enough in this life, you know, and, uh, and, 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 and whatever little we have studied, if, we, if that is not enough to meet with the condition to be born in, in a place where there's uh, uh, teachings available, then, you know, and then it, uh, then it is very difficult, you know, to say that you will be able to continue to have that realization again. Um, and, and yeah, so if, if you don't have that strong, you know, uh, coming, you know, the connection, and then instead of but then in, because you are born in an environment where there's no buddhism or no dharma to study or practice therefore most of the actions that you engage in will be the non virtuous action and that can lead you to be born you know, that is, that can lead you to be fall and it lead you to fall down you know into the lower realms like that but you know whatever positive actions that you have uh, accumulated now the imprint of that is there as long as it's not destroyed by like strong anger, you know, or by strong negative karma, then it's still there. So then, uh, even though if, even if you're born down there, that later when you when that positive um, imprint is met with the condition, then you will have again opportunity uh, to study and practice dharma. Okay, okay, yeah, maybe Margaret. Thank you, Kesha. Good luck. You're done. Yeah, I, I think um, maybe strong meditation on um, images yeah. of deities or, or, you know, saying the mantras leaves, if you're saying it every day over years, it's going to leave a very deep imprint, right? Special, special deep imprint, not just deities, to meditation, compassion, bodhicitta, loving kindness. That makes a very strong imprint. Then, you know, of course, your deities, yeah. Okay, yeah, now Margaret. Uh, Gishla, actually, my question follow up from Mark's question. But I remember, and I cannot remember whether it's the, the, this class, Wednesday or the Sunday, but we talked about at one point, I asked a question, similar question before. And I remember there was at one point, like maybe it's when we reach uh, Bodhisattva ground, that uh, maybe first ground, or maybe it's the, from the path from meditation onwards, that if it's extremely hard to reach, but if we reach there, then that we will not fall back. I mean, we can... <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's true, you know, if you have reached that level, you know. But in our case, if we have not even like like Mark was saying about like right now we study. Yeah, uh, not, not, not me or... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we, we study yeah, past the ground and now you know if we're the next year if we're next life if we were born in a place where there's no Buddhism, then yes, there's a very high chance for us to fall down. But yeah, of course, mm -hmm. if you have already entered into the path, then that's a different case, you know. Uh, once you have entered into yeah. the path, um, then, uh, then it's really, uh, then it's very, um, um, very impossible you know, to, to, to fall down. And especially like if you have reached uh, the, the forbearance uh, level of the path of preparation, then from there onward, you will not fall into the law realm. And then uh, once you, um, you know, see the truth, then you will not create any um, throwing karmas. Throwing karma, you know, right? Throwing karma, the karma that throws you to into the into the samsara, into you know, taking a birth and like that. So that's called throwing karma. Uh, so 
once you demote on the Pemba mirror, yeah. so once you see the truth, there is no accumulation of pro and con. Once you have reached uh, the forbearance level of further preparation, there's no falling into the low realm. Okay. Yeah, thank okay. you. Okay, Harvard. Thank you. Yeah, that was actually my question is, oh, okay. uh, I, that was the point. So I know in the path of preparations, heat peak forbearance, super mundane qualities. I wasn't sure if it was at the heat peak forbearance, if it was forbearance or super mundane qualities, which one you can't go back. <laughs> but uh, you guys already answered that. So thank you, Mark. And thank you, Margaret. Good, good, good. Okay. Anyone? Ah. Did you have a question? Question. Okay, John. Deborah, you said something about some people don't even know that they're living this life of unknowing. But I don't know if this is karma or not, but a friend gave me a book on loving kindness. And just reading, may I be happy, may I be safe, may I be full of love and healing. I'm like, oh my God, I could be happy and safe and full of love and healing. And I, I guess she saw that I was suffering. I mean, you know, yes, I was suffering um, when I was in my what, whatever, for a long time. Um, and then I started doing Vipassana meditation and I realized that I changed. I even got a, a, a course for three months uh, with Joseph Goldstein, Sharon Salzberg and someone else. And I had a teacher and I had to report to her every month. And then people started saying, Joan, you're different. And I remember saying, I'm happy. I don't know what happened, but I'm happier. Almost like I want to cry. So <laughs> you can give a book to someone like that. You know, just may I be happy, may I be safe, may I be full of love and healing. That's so powerful. So I just want, that's it. I just wanted to respond to you. I was one of those that was walking around in a um, trance. Yeah, so just like his owner said, you know, the, uh, about the loving kindness and compassion, it's not only uh, something that is possessed by the Buddhists. You know, and so there are so many people who have um, the loving kindness, compassion. You know, that's of course is something that's needed. You know, for all, uh, it should not be only limited you know, to those who are Buddhist. So it's not something that is you know, required by only those who practice Dharma. Everybody, even the animals, you know, like uh, the birds and uh, other animals, they also need love and compassion. Every, everybody who uh, inhale and exhale need the loving kindness and compassion. Okay. Chenda nacho de thanda kundu ko bana kadan thiri kudi ani ta demni niwa te inji kan jochar songa. Atina songa. Tando mixe ko ta kaji zambile ko zambile ko u te tando karo ta lori kudso ba lori kudso. So yeah, so his holiness you know, has uh, 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 taught in that uh, um, you know, uh, teaching on you know, in the conference you know, with the science, it's called the Buddhist you know, science, the compendium of Buddhist science. There's a two, the second volume, which, is, which I think is already in, translated in, into English now. And of course, it's mentioned there. But in general, you know, he always says that uh, any, anybody who breathe, you know, like animals or human beings, they all need loving kindness and compassion. Yeah, and like um, the <clears throat> the morality, you know, uh, or discipline, you know, of abandoning the ten and virtuous action, it's a universal. You know, it's like a universal um, a discipline, you know, that has to be observed by everybody, you know, because whoever does that, whether you're Buddhist or not, will receive the benefit of doing that. And so there's no, uh, not, nothing to do you know, with the religion you know, or Buddhism. You know. 
So it's all anybody can practice that. But the Ganzo wrong views and the wrong view on Tamadrava. And it Java has a legend about the Tesom Tagoman, the Susu, another Tawa Susu, Tawa, then Tawa Shima, Tel Rome, which are the other co. Tawa Teletani, nor a moving word. So, and then of course, there may be some questions about the, the wrong view. When we talk about the wrong view, you know, the, uh, among the three um, the non virtuous actions created by our mind, like the covetousness, ill will, and the wrong view, right? So, these are three. The wrong view in, in Buddhism, when, it's, when it comes to the Buddhist um, in a context, then we refer to it as uh, not believing in past and future lives, you know, uh, <clears throat> and not believing in three jewels and so forth. And so that's the wrong view for Buddhists. Uh, but uh, in other people, you can just say your opinion, your wrong opinion. You know, everybody has opinion, right? And everybody has suggestion or opinions, or this is like that, this, this should be like this and so forth. But many of us, you know, <clears throat> we um, are wrong you know, in thinking that it should be like that. But we th still think very strongly that it should be like that. And you know, that is wrong view. So the, the, the different or wrong opinion, you know, those are the wrong, you can say those are the wrong views in general. Okay, Tapan Romagoji, Tangan Joe Karotas, Sada Salam Sana Karere, and then Susu got some Tama Swagi Kaji Chala de Res. So now not going too far uh, into other things, uh, going back to what is path and ground. So it is the, uh, it's the thing, you know, to um, uh, clean our mind. So if it, you know, uh, if the mind has to be clean, then what are the dirts you know, uh, that pollutes the mind? So those are the six root delusions. Okay. So then and then among the five paths, you know, the, the, the path of accumulation and the path of preparation are like you know, the, uh, the preparing stage uh, of getting cleaned. And then the path of seeing and path of meditation are the actual stage you know, where you apply the soap and clean and get rid of the dirt. Uh, so during the path of seeing, you, know, you abandon uh, the, um, the the gross, uh, uh, the obvious, you know, gross uh, delusions, and then during the path of meditation, you overcome the uh, the subtle you know, delusions, the delusions that were left and uh, unclean by uh, the path of seeing. <laughs> so is, is it possible to clean the mind you know, of the delusions? And yes, it is possible because the nature of the mind is clear light uh, and uh, the delusions you know, are just a temporary there. <laughs> so like uh, like example, and I applied you know, with my hat which is starting to get smelly now. And so, you know, so that's uh, this, uh, uh, the obvious you know, stains you know, are the stains that you can see by your eyes, right? And then there's also the stains that you can't see, but you can smell. Uh, those are the subtle, like the subtle smell, subtle stains. <laughs> Okay, Tati Chana to tell Chumalo Shana Trego that Salam got the carriage that Lamma Shagger that something can go be Hakumu to take on a yapo, Temagona, Tengobe Town, the Dodo Carriagona, Sam Samasoides, Sama Carriso Gurna, Numoturis, Soyak Chala Cardana, Tonum the Gonom Yeres, Tingendo the Ton of Jolan Yeres, and then Nendo Chesebecala, Ton Gormanum Sedres, Naku, Sam the Dodo Tago. So, yeah, those are the minerals, you know, those are the, like the short in brief, you know, you can say like that. What, are, what is path and ground? You know? So what are, what are the paths and you know, what is the ground? So that's like the, you know, the, the path and path of meditation and path of seeing you know, are the actual mind, you know, or actual thing to clean the mind. And the path of preparation and path of you know, accumulation are like the preparatory practice, you know, to uh, <clears throat> actually uh, gain the, uh, the, the you know, to, get, to engage in the practice you know, of abandoning by path of seeing and path of meditation. 
And then when you have abandoned all these stains, you know, then what you have, what happens is then you achieve the path of normal learning. Okay, Bernard, Bernard, <laughs> maybe my example is very bad, <laughs> you know, yeah, because this is for, you know, kind of related for us every day. If you read the how you say this short two days, maybe just one day, then you just smile. They have smile for you. So you don't see the dirt, but you don't see the dirt stain, but you can smell it. So that's the that's the that smell and that's the subtle dirt. Cheta ani tan thono mukaz thono mukaz ta ngandu nyomara patu mungju patu pangores kunda sae the kanje ta pesha ta kanje rafa mungju patu pesha ngandu gores gono mukaz ani thamo thamo gores. Uh, and so, uh, so uh, during the part of seeing, you abandon the the gross um, <clears throat> uh, or the obvious ones. You know? uh, that's you can say that's the, you know, the meaning of the intellectual. And then during the part of meditation, you know, you abandon the subtle you know, or the innate delusions. Okay. So what are the stains you know, that is to be abandoned in the path of seeing, path of meditation? Uh, the six root delusions. So where are the six root delusions? They are in our minds. So that, is, that, is it understand? We have the six root delusions. Those six root delusions are in our mind. So the six root delusions are not to be thought as being very far away. It's within just right in some in, in our mind. So right now, it is not possible for us to overcome that. But you know, we are trying, we're getting ready. We're, we're preparing ourselves you know, to get there. So <clears throat> when when we get to, you know, to the path of seeing and path of meditation, and that's only that's only when we will be able to actually remove or eliminate those delusions. So like if you need if you want to get you know, uh, a PhD degree later when you grow up, then you have to, you know, get ready from the PhD. I mean it's from the kindergarten, right? So then now right now we are like in a kindergarten. <laughs> Not just you guys, for all of us, including myself. Okay, like that. Now you got a little bit idea. Try to not think in a grand spot, it's very far away, okay? Something to do your daily, daily life. Okay, Karen? So between the path of seeing and the path of meditation, is there a very specific um, description of how there's that shift between the one path and another, like there is with um, going into the path of accumulation is when with renunciation and in the path of preparation, when you, um, there seems to be more um, a distinction between the paths, but between the path of seeing and the path of meditation, do you need to get rid of all of your gross delusions before you start your subtle ones? I mean, where, where is that distinction? Okay. Yeah, so when, when you talk about the, uh, the accord or intellectual delusions and the innate delusions, you know? uh, so when, you know, when, you, when you're in the part of seeing, you mainly um, you know, apply that and uh, you apply the antidote you know, to the um, <clears throat> uh, occurred delusions. 
So when you have abandoned that, there are so many occurred delusions, and when you abandon all of them, then you know, you know, uh, uh, then you uh, you know come out of you know, uh, come out of that meditation you know, on emptiness. And, you know, so with that, you know, you have you know uh, bring the path of uninterrupted path. You, you know apply that antidote, and then when you have overcome that, then you come into the path of release, and then now you have overcome all that, and then you come out of that meditation. So it's called the post meditative kupois uh, or during the subsequent attainment. And then after that, then you get it ready again, you, you accumulate merit you know, during that time you know, to uh, get ready you know, to overcome the innate delusions. Yeah. And then when you go into the meditation, then now you're in the part of meditation. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So that's on the so they're, they're both on the first ground, you know. So the first ground has the uninterrupted part or the part of seeing, and then there's also uninterrupted part of the part of meditation, you know, of the the um, you know, of the first of the of the like the, the first one, uh, so to overcome the the gross gross uh, innate delusions, the great great inner delusions, innate uh, obscurations, yeah. So you have to understand that. You know, so that's uh, when you uh, enter, you know, when you um, have overcome you know, the, the delusion, overcome the innate, I mean, so, uh, the accord delusion, and then you enter into a meditation to overcome you know, the, the un, so it's called the uninterrupted path. And you know, to, to overcome the, uh, the 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 most gross uh, innate in a delusion, then that's when you enter into the uh, and a part of meditation. In that, the near left another cause of Soto Ranshu, then Tom of Tops another co Ranshu and Lelawala of Soto and Russia. So, of course, it's not that difficult once you have reached the part of seeing, and it's like very natural, you know, you, you are you have realized emptiness directly. And it will be no no issue for you to go into meditation on emptiness, and then you'll be like seeing because you see it all the time, you know. So it should be like uh, like uh, automatic, you know. You move from path to path easily. Okay. How's the ground path? Do you have something idea? That channel to carry you mad at the door door in the lamga or the chiji pte satchu or the. So in in of course in uh, general you know there's the whole length of you know explanation about all the five parts ten grounds and uh, definitions definitions and all these things you know uh, but um, in general you know just like we talked about today what are the you know, what are what is what is the path and ground and what are the five parts and what you know at what level what you know what you understand all these things in short and if you can uh, you know get, uh, have some understanding about that then that'll be very useful okay otherwise uh, one year then we forgot we said, okay what they talk about five parts okay what the names even even you don't know the names it's okay just you have to something to picture in your mind okay like that like that like that okay this is a, we also your ground plan is very important. It's talk about enter enlightened. We have to go that way. It's talk over again, again, again. You know, long rooms, those things. They always renunciation, compassion, bodhicitta. You know, like that. All good luck, like, same directions, but different ways. Okay, everyone good. Okay, today a little bit of meditation. Okay, try to more. Karu, so the same thing. Come to there, to familiarize with your mind. Then check, you know, who's, who's explains some more easy understanding, you know, you can follow that also, you know, okay? Okay. Uh, then we stop. Yes, yes. Uh, so are, are we, ha have we finished Grounds and Paths? Is that uh, officially or? That's <laughs> Yeah, so so this can be the like the last class you know, on the past and grounds.
because after this, there's no much important points left. It's a little bit about, like I said, you know, some other some other system, other systems, uh, um, you know, opinion about uh, the definition of path and ground like that. So that's not really that important. Uh, of course, it would be good to know, but you know that's not really you know, that important. And it's all also like it's kind of repeating again and again. So, you know, so we don't have to go through. So we can you know make it like a last class today. Yeah. Geshe-la, it's a little inauspicious. We didn't realize this would be the last class, but um, it was so. Oh, this is this is this is auspicious, not inauspicious. This is auspicious. Well, in, inauspicious in that we don't have. A proper Thanksgiving mandala offering, but we when we when we give make the Thanksgiving mandala offering, we'll go very slow. And if everybody can just think about how extraordinary, rare, and precious um, these teachings are, and how fortunate we are to have Geshe-la's kindness, and uh, so thank you so much, Geshe-la. Okay, good luck there. Then another hour. Then the sad alarm. Then the pain. Then go chamboli. Then the. So yeah, it's been really good. Um, this is, of course, we're all very fortunate to be able to discuss about this. The path and ground is uh, necessary, you know, for all of us to achieve uh, liberation or enlightenment. Without this, it's not possible. Uh, so anyway, uh, it's been really good, you know, uh, to discuss. And you guys have very, you know, worked very hard you know, to study. That's very good. And, uh, and I tried my best uh, in, a, in, a, in a most easiest way to explain. Uh, hopefully, it, will be a, it, it, it had been some benefit to you. With, with, with some very strange uh, examples. <laughs> And sometimes it becomes a little bit easier to understand with these strange examples. You know, so thought it would be of some benefit. Okay. Okay. And then for the next two weeks, and I will try to explain um, the meaning you know, of the practice that we do, uh, the prayers you know, that we do before the teaching on Sunday as well as on, on Wednesdays. Uh, as we do every day, maybe it would be a little bit helpful you know, to understand uh, uh, the meaning of the prayers that we're doing. You know, and uh, what should we think uh, or you know, how do we meditate? You know, how do we practice when we're doing those prayers? Okay. Like that, yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Nidam Guru Ratna Madavatam Iriataya. In that snow mountain encircled land, source of every benefit and joy, may Lord Tenzin Gyatso Chen resign, remain in life till samsara's end. Savory the snowland teachings and transmigratory beings who extensively clarifies the path that unifies emptiness and compassion. The lotus in the hand, Lord Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech me, all your holy wishes be fulfilled. You who uphold the subduers more away, who serve as a bountiful bear of all, sustaining, preserving, and spreading Majana's victorious doctrine, who masterfully accomplishes his magnificent prayers, honoring the three jewels, Savior of myself and others, your disciples, please, please live long. Through this virtue may I swiftly, having gained Guru Buddha's place each and every sentient being, without exception in that state. Precious Supreme Bodhi Mind, may it where unborn arise, and where born never decline, but increase forevermore. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Kishala. Thank, Thank, Thank you. I took all the cutouts. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kishala. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. See you soon. Do, 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 do a little bit of meditation to like combine the path ground. Okay. Next Thank time we're talking about all oh, there are so many numbers, so many complicated, not thinking like that way. Okay. Something to. Yes. I don't know. Mark and Mark. Women and women and Martha Man is no longer still as top shed. So just try to like, you know, get the, the gist of that, uh, just like you get uh, um, butter, you know, the essence and you know, the butter from you know, the whole milk. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.